friends, it's Mimi here today and today I will be sharing with you my favorites of the March. I had to think for a moment, I'm like, is it April, is it March, is it February? The months have been going way too fast. However, the month of March has been very exciting. I've discovered a lot of interesting things that I'm excited to share with you. So let's just get started. All right, so before I get started, I just want to mention something to you guys, something that you might not know yet because I don't know if this has been rolled out on Instagram yet, but basically, um, if you have an Instagram account and you follow whatever amount of people, starting soon, very soon, probably in a few weeks, you will not be able to see your timeline as you see it now. So basically, they're kind of changing it to what Facebook is. It's just gonna be random posts from random times. However, there's a way to see the person you're following. So if you follow me, if you don't follow me, I'm at Mini Icon. There's a way to subscribe now to the person to be able to actually see every single picture that they post. And basically what you do is you go over here and then you just have to turn on notification. And then once you turn that on, that will ensure that you will see every picture that the person posts. Very, very sad, but that's why I've been actually using more of my Snapchat. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, now you can do that as well. It's Mimi Icon and I just post random funny moments of my life. All right, so lots to share. I'm just gonna get started in no particular order. The first thing I'm gonna share with you, I actually have a lot of entertainment sort of things for you this uh, month that I've discovered. And this first one is a documentary. It's called Twinsters. And, and it's this incredible documentary that starts with the journey of one girl, this little Korean girl that was adopted into a family, I believe in the state of New York and then a little bit of her life and then she moves to California and starts acting career and then one day she does this video I think with Kevin there, it's this big youtuber I don't really watch him but I know his youtube channel so she's she appears in his youtube video and then a few days later or like a few weeks later she gets a message on Facebook from this girl who looks exactly like her and basically asking her about her date of birth because um, or maybe she knew it. I'm not really sure of the details, but basically she's writing her a message saying that hey I'm also adopted from Korea. I was also born on the same day Do you think we could possibly be twins? So I don't want to give it all away I just want to say that the journey and the story the way it was shot. It's basically very real um, Documentary is always real, but this is even more real. It's like very new age and then their journey of meeting together and discovering whether in fact they are twins from the same mother. I absolutely love this movie and I recommend watching it because it's very heartwarming and very sweet. Next on, I present to you something that I can't believe I haven't talked in a video yet and many of you will be familiar with this if you follow me on Instagram or Alex. Um, this is a productivity planner and it's something um, Alex, our friend UJ and I have created together. It took us a year to create a productivity planner and the reason we created it is basically we realized that we needed sort of a structure something that is more than a to-do list to help us organize our thoughts and tasks in the day and to ensure that we can do more with the least amount of time so we can be more productive and efficient with our time and that's how the, the idea for Productivity Planner was born. It's really beautiful. I mean, we're all about design. Um, there's inspiring quotes. This is mine actually, so you'll see a lot of writing. There's lots of inspiring quotes for every week. So basically how it works is you fill out the date and then you only do a few tasks in the day and that's your most important task. And you go with the first important ta task. So basically, like the method is called like eating the frog. You know, sometimes we'll know what we need to do, but we'll procrastinate because we feel like that task is going to be very overwhelming. So we just do what's easy and then keep pushing it until next day and next day and then we'll never get around to doing it. So this is the opposite. You have to start with the most difficult thing, but you don't need to do all of it. You just need to say, I'm going to spend, let's say, an hour. And it works in the system where you work um, 25 minutes at a time, or of course you can adjust that to 30 or 35 minutes, but we call it the Pomodoro technique. We don't call it actually. This is an actual technique. So you work in 25 minute increments and you're just focused on that one task. So let's say I'm editing the book or you're writing an essay and for 25 minutes you're just let's say dedicating that time to doing the research or actually writing it and then you're not going on Facebook, you're not checking your emails, you just have that and you set the timer and then when the timer is done 
it rings, you know, like your time is up and then you're supposed to take five minute break. So you get up, you stretch, you look out the window, you have tea, um, you know, water, whatever, you know, you, you have a break because it's, you know, sometimes we can spend hours and hours just like staring into the computer and not taking a break. So it really ensures that you take a break, you recharge for five minutes and then you get back into it. And then you record how much time you spend on the actual task. And then the second test, third task, and then you have some extra tasks in the notes section. Anyways, I could talk about this for a long time. All I want to say is that this, when I actually use the productivity planner, and I use it on most days, some days I don't use it if I'm traveling or if I'm doing, like if it's just like a crazy kind of day and I have to be out of the office, when I actually use it, like my productivity is off the roof. You can't even compare it to a normal day without the planner. So definitely makes it into my favorites of the month. Next favorite of the month is actually something that Alex downloaded on my phone because he got tired of me complaining that I forget to drink water. So he just downloaded this app called Water Check. I think it's a paid app if I'm not mistaken, but basically what you do is you record the amount of water you drink. So you can actually track how much you're drinking. And also it prompts you, I believe every few hours, every maybe two, three hours to remind you to drink water. And I, honestly, it sounds so simple, but it has made a huge difference in the amount of water I've been drinking. I actually now am drinking, um, and I think I mentioned this in, the, in, in, in a previous video, I actually am now drinking two and a half to three liters a day. Again, I, I have a very active, active lifestyle. I bike, I walk. So like I use a lot of the water that's in me. So I have to drink at least a minimum of two, two liters of water to feel hydrated. And, and one way I can see when I'm not hydrated actually is I have chopped lips. So when I have chopped lips, I know I'm not drinking enough water. And ever since I've been drinking enough water, my lips are hydrated, my skin feels brighter, I feel more energetic. It's a completely different way of feeling. And the app has definitely helped me to become more aware of how much water I've been I'm drinking day to day. So definitely recommend it if you have the same kind of issue and you want to track your water intake. All right, another entertainment recommendation for you guys. And this is my absolute favorite. I'm so sad that we finished watching it. And what I'm referring to is the show on Netflix. It's a documentary that's split into four different parts. Maybe you already watched it because it's like they always, um, whenever you open Netflix, it's kind of there and it's called Cooked. So basically what Cooked is, it's split into four different categories and it talks about food and, and the evolution of food and how the food changes the structure with four elements, water, fire, air, and, and earth, I believe. Yes, so that was the fermentation. So very educational, very interesting, extremely beautifully shot all over the world. They go to India, they go to Australia, they go to all these beautiful exotic Morocco, they go to all these incredibly beautiful places where the food is still is still made or uh, produced in a in a very natural way how it was done hundreds of years ago. So I found that very educational and made me appreciate cooking so much more. Um, Alex and I love going out, but we've been eating in a lot more after watching that show. So I definitely recommend watching it because it's a show that everyone has to watch. Like they have to show this in schools because. I believe in order to appreciate the food that you eat, you need to learn more about the way it's raised, the way it's made, and of course the way it's cooked. All right, on to some fashion items. I'm excited to show you a pair of boyfriend jeans. I had a couple of pairs from like years ago and I donated them. I don't know why I donated them because I think they had a few like scratch or like, sp uh, not scratches, I mean scratches are fine because they, they all have scratches, but they had a few like oil spots or like things that you know, you get with wear and tear. But um, after I gave them away, I realized I don't have any more boyfriend jeans and I've been on the hunt for boyfriend jeans for months. And I looked at low end brands and high end brands and I couldn't find anything. And recently I went into Topshop and I found this lovely pair of boyfriend jeans. By the way, everything I'm gonna mention, I'm gonna link in the info box. So in case you miss anything, make sure to check it out. So these are lovely because they're a bit loose. I think with boyfriend jeans, they, they have to be loose. They can be too tight. And they have lots and lots of rips on the knees. And I just love the way they fit me. They're very relaxed. They're very, I love the color of the wash, of course. And just the way they look on me, just makes me very feel very comfortable and 
Also, they have that edge factor, of course, because of all the ribs on the knees. On a denim note, another one of my favorites is actually the shirt I'm wearing today, and I absolutely love button-down um, denim shirts. I have a few of them, but they all kind of look the same. So when I saw this one on ASOS, I, I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it's got cut-out shoulders, as you can see, and it's such a nice detail that you can have on a shirt that doesn't really expose much, but adds a really nice feminine and sexy effect to the item. So I absolutely love the shirt. I love the way it fits and these details just add a little edge to it. Another fashion item that I'd love to share with you is this wonderful bag that I got on ASOS and this is from their Reclaim Vintage Collection and when I look at this bag it's not something that I would normally get but when I saw it on the website I just fell in love with the colors and the intricate design because it just reminded me of our trip to Morocco and all the carpets and all the all the little details you get to see everywhere in the architecture and of course another reason I love this bag is because the reclaimed vintage collection that ASOS has Basically what they do is they use old fabrics and old accessories and old items to create something new. So basically that's what they did is created this bag that's, I'm pretty sure, very much Morocco inspired because that's what I think about when I look at it. And it's got this really nice chain that's very soft and very light and you can actually fit a lot into this bag. Um, I mean a phone, a vlogging camera, a wallet, it's quite big and I think with all its colors it kind of goes with every single outfit. I love the way it looks with denim and yeah, I just absolutely love all the details. It's like I can't stop staring at it because it's got so many different details. It photographs really well and yeah, it's just wonderful knowing that this was an old item that now is a new item. All right, now I'm gonna share with you some of my new favorite accessories, and I have a few actually. Um, I'm wearing all of them <laughs> unintentionally because they have been my favorites, and when I like a piece of jewelry, I usually just put it on and I don't take it off until I either lose it or I break it or I ruin it. So <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing these, um, yeah, because I don't have a lot of jewelry. I have just like a very small collection that I wear a lot. So um, I'm gonna show you guys first the earrings and these are absolutely exquisite, so cute and dainty. Um, they're tiny, but you can definitely see it when you look up close. Um, these are little hearts and they're plated with gold. And this is by the brand called Dog Eared. I absolutely love Dog Eared for the story of the brand, um, their design and handcrafted actually in Southern California and they're um, a really great company. Their jewelry I've been wearing for years and actually the quality is great. Even though it's not real gold, it's gold plated, it doesn't wash away with wear and tear and I mean it doesn't tarnish and it doesn't get ruined which I really appreciate. Don't know how exactly they do that but it's great. So yeah, I got these earrings and then um, I also got this, um, this was on a trip to New York by the way, we went to the store ABC something um, which has a lot of like really cool jewelry, and carpets and like all kinds of random like beauty products and it's all usually focused on more organic, handcrafted or local made in you made in USA and then um, basically I got the earrings and then I got this um, beautiful necklace and if you look closely you will see it's a unicorn and I just think unicorn is a really cool magical creature that signifies a little magic that lives in all of us so I just fell in love as soon as I saw it. And the last item in the accessory department I want to share with you is this beautiful spiky bracelet which is sort of rose gold but it's not too much rose gold like it still goes with my yellow gold that's why I really like it and it's got these really beautiful gemstones as well um, just really love how it goes with the watch and just a really nice cool accessory. And last but not least, I'd love to share with you the favorite book of the month and this one is by a researcher called Brene Brown. She has a lot of great TED Talks on YouTube, just Google that. But this book is called The Gifts of Imperfection and I absolutely love the title. I listen to the audiobook because I always do. Um, and the subtitle is Let Go of Who You Think You're Supposed to Be and Embrace Who You Are. What the book talks about is how society and media sends all these messages to us every single day of how we're supposed to look like, how much we're supposed to weigh, how we're supposed to act, what we're supposed to wear, and in all of this loud noise, it's so easy to lose yourself and try to create this image of perfection of who you are, which actually has nothing to do with who you are. And the book talks about how true gifts that we have to share with the world 
are in our imperfections, in embracing who we are. And what I really like about this book specifically is that Brene is a researcher. So she has gone out and spent years of her life doing research and interviewing thousands of people, getting thousands of stories from people who live uh, wholeheartedly. So basically people who are happy and joyful and she tried to break it down into what exactly these people do that allows them to be so happy and joyful. And a lot of it had to do with being grateful, with embracing your imperfections, and you know, with, with accepting who you are. And that's just some of the messages of the books. I'm not gonna give away too much, but I can just say in every chapter, I had so many aha moments and I think I'm gonna re-listen to it in like a month or so because I just feel like there's just so many messages I still want to absorb in the book. It was just a lot of information that I found extremely valuable in learning to accept myself and my own imperfection because I believe that's something we all do intentionally or unintentionally. We, we tend to become something we're not because again, there's just so many messages of how we're supposed to be. But ultimately it's all about reconnecting with yourself and asking yourself who are you really are and then sharing your true story and who you truly are with the world. That's the biggest gift we can give. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. I promise that was a lot, but um, these are all my favorites. I would love to hear from you and from your favorites of the month. So make sure to leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching my favorites and make sure to subscribe to my Instagram and Snapchat if you haven't yet. I love you guys very, very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.